Hi, so this is Portia Parter, host of Stitch Talk. Now, this is Monday. Happy January 1st to everyone. Woo, happy new year. So um, I wanted to make a quick video. On Mondays, I make a video. Typically, it's called Struggle Bus Mondays, and I use that huge, long post I made in Heaven Earth Design where I was asking, you know, what's your biggest struggle? And I basically cover all of those topics to the best of my ability. Today's topic is based on a lot of um, tags I've been getting in the group in regards to Easy PDF. So I just wanted to really quick just show you how you would use Easy PDF in regards to on the Android tablet. Or if you're on your computer and you're using um, BlueStacks to get to Easy PDF that way. And if you're wondering about BlueStacks and Windows and all that good stuff, I do have other tutorials as well. But I just wanted to take a quick couple of minutes and show you this. So obviously, on an Android device, you just want to get the Easy PDF Reader, the Pro version. I've gotten it when it's free. I'm not sure if it's still available for free um, through Amazon Underground, but you have to check that out but I definitely have um, the fancy version I'm pretty sure I got it for free so here's my chart here and I'm allowed to show it to you because it is a freebie so I'll just go ahead and open my chart so opening the chart is pretty standard now if you want to highlight let me show you what's going on I am working on this and I can zoom in I'm working on this heart symbol if I want to highlight the heart symbol throughout the entire chart what I'm gonna do is long press and then I'm gonna to go to search. Now when you're in search, it's gonna give you some type of weird character. For now, it's a W. You always wanna press on case sensitive and whole word only so that it only gets that exact symbol, okay? And then um, for me, I'm not starting on the first page, I'm starting on this page. So I change the start from to be my current page and it gives you this symbol from the current page you're working on until the end. You can start from the first page, you can go from the last page and reverse everything. Sometimes I do that because I think it's fun to change things up a little bit. But anyway, so just do normal direction. If you wanted to, you could do reverse, okay? And that would go backwards, but we're just do no normal. Now, this is gonna highlight this lovely symbol on all of my pages. How cool. So now I'm gonna go back to the page I was on and let's say I'm ready to highlight. You can see these options at the top. And this is an easy PDF review because I've done a million videos about how to do this, but I'm making a quick short one. Uh, let's say I stitch this. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, there are a couple options here. You wanna click on, hold on, let me show you. You wanna click on the one that has the C and the orange dealio. Because what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and highlight that. All I did was click on it, technically. So I just click on it, I highlight, I highlight. Now if you want to delete highlights, all you're going to do is you see that, you're just going to go tap, it disappeared, then you're going to go tap, it disappeared, and then you're going to go tap again, and it disappeared, okay? That is a simple way to highlight and unhighlight. Don't really mess with any of these other things because I honestly don't know what they do. I know this one is like evil. It like makes them permanent and makes it like pretty much impossible to get the highlight off. But yeah, um, there's some other ones. Like if you stitch with blocks, if you do full blocks, you could do something like this. If you're done with the block, actually, hold on. Let me show you how to delete that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, there's... I think it's this one. No, there's one where you like shade it. Let's see. All right, so now if you go thickness, let's say here, it's going to, no, that's not it. There is one where you can actually shade the box and I thought it was, nope. Okay, if I find it, I can do another video for you guys who do the 10 by 10s. Like you sh you can actually like just put a light box on this whole thing, which is pretty cool. And then you can just stitch that way if you stitch 10 by 10s. But I'll do another video about that once I play around with it and figure it out. But I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a whatever Wednesday video on Wednesday and our traditional stitch talk coming up on Friday. And then of course, next Monday, we'll continue with the Monday struggle bus. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, share all that good stuff and um, subscribe. Also make sure that you are in on our Heaven Earth Design giveaway. Um, 
Check out the links for that on my page as well. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.